Good morning and welcome to another Medical Minute with the Colorado Springs Orthopedic Group. Right now I'm joined by Haley Little, a certified orthotic fitter and a certified mastectomy fitter. And today we're talking a little bit about how to fit and use crutches and canes and walkers. Correct. Okay, and so tell us a little bit about, I guess the number one thing you see patients struggle with when they're trying to fit walking assistance equipment. So really the biggest thing that people struggle with is getting the height correct on the different devices. Um, with canes, with walkers, and with crutches, they're all gonna be kind of at different heights according to your body type. Most crutches do have um, markers on them already for the different height for a different patient, but our bodies are different as far as our torsos or our leg length and our arm length as well. So that's what they struggle with the most. Okay, um, and what happens if any pieces of you know this equipment is not fitted properly? So typically the ultimate um, concern with this is that other injuries could happen. If the crutches are too short, if the walker is too short, or if the cane is too short or even too tall, um, different body parts are at jeopardy, mostly the shoulders, elbows, and the wrists, just because we are now depending on those different sides of the body to walk. Okay, so let's try to ensure, you know, our, our equipment's properly fitted today. Let's, how do you make sure that the crutches are the right, I guess, height? Sure, absolutely. Okay. So typically what we want to do when we start with the crutches is make sure that the height of the crutch is two to three finger heights below the armpit. You don't want this right underneath the armpit because you're going to crush lymph nodes, arteries, muscles, stuff like that. So you do want that space. Okay. Next thing you want to make sure is that the crutch does allow you to have a slight bend in the elbow. Just here on the elbow, just to make sure that if you do stumble or fall, you're not hyperextending your arm, causing an injury as well. Got it. Okay. And how can someone actually schedule an appointment with Audubon Orthotic and Prosthetic Service? Mostly just by calling the office is probably going to be the best bet. Um, we do require a prescription for any device that's dispensed through the office, so you just want to make sure that you do have a script from your physician. Okay. And I guess when people are, when you're helping people fitting their equipment, are they just so much more thankful that you're helping them and not trying to do it themselves? They really are. Because, you know, I mean, people look at the instructions, they just don't know what they're doing. And yep. so it's really important that we do communicate that just instill the confidence in them as well. Okay, and do you have any advice as far as canes go or walkers go and fitting that? Yeah, typically with canes, um, you're actually going to just hold your hand down to the side. The top of the cane should hit your wrist. Same thing with walkers, but a little bit higher. Slight bend in the elbow with the walker and just make sure the device is actually a little bit in front of you, not too far back, not too far forward. When people come here, they get fitted, they're so happy. What is like the number one thing you hear from them when they, when they go home? Well, they're all really nervous, of course, because yeah. this is all brand new to them, so they don't really know what they're doing. But for the most part, they're just really happy to be on the right track to healing. And do you have any advice for people that are just starting out to use crutches? Go slow. <laughs> Go slow. Use your time. Um, don't rush up going upstairs. Don't rush up going downstairs. I've fallen myself in the past going downstairs, of course. So it's just really just listening to your body. Okay, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And for more information on the Colorado Springs Orthopedic Group, you can just go to csog.net.